Welcome to another video. In this video, we'll show you how to work with variables plus formulas in Titan form using Titan Web. So this is a native form to Titan Web, which you'll find under form and then like this. All right. Let's say we what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and split some rows here. I oh, actually only need one, but it's fine. So what we'll do is we'll say we will do column. So let's do this one here. And then in the columns here, we'll say four. And then we'll add one before like this. So anyways, all right, so let's work with variables. Let's say, um, you know, I want to add two values. In fact, I'm going to make one more change here, add another one. Okay, so let's say this is a form. We get our input fields. I'll get a numeric field here. Let's pop that in here. And then another numeric field here, like this. No, oh, it's a text field. No, I don't want that. I want a numeric field. Like this. Okay. And then I'll add another one up here, and then we'll work with these two. So this field can go over here, and then this one can go over here. And then finally, a text box. We will call this one outcome one, and then this one will be outcome two. Okay. So let's go ahead and modify this. So we'll call this outcome one. And then this one we'll call outcome two. Let me show you a very simple example here, but just a setup. So we'll call this row, we'll call this field A, we'll call this actually we'll call this row A. Row AF1. Row A input 1. We'll call it that. And then this one we'll call it row A input 2. And then this one we'll call it row D input 1. And this one row D input 2. Okay, let's talk about variables and formulas in here. If I go over to page, click on the three icons here, click on configure action, you've got something called formula fields. Now, first one up is numeric. Let's say I'll call this one row A outcome. Okay, and I'll configure it. Here I can say row A input 1 something like times row a input two and then finally deliver that value into outcome one something very simple all right so let's click save click preview i will put five in here and then five in here and then it should return the outcome into outcome two okay and the reason why it hasn't done that is because I need to actually put not X like this. All right, so don't make this mistake like I did. So I click Save, click Preview. So five, five, and there you go, 25, okay? And on the second one, I'll show you another one. So we can go in there, figure actions, go numeric, add another one. We'll call this one row D outcome. And here I can say row D input one plus row D input two, and then we'll deliver the value to outcome two. Very, very simple, but you get the idea of what we're trying to do here. Click Save. Let's refresh. 
So this 100, 10, 1000, and then 100, 50 is 150. Okay, so that's using the numeric variables there. Let's switch it up a little bit. So we'll go over into figure actions and we'll delete our numeric. In fact, we'll work on string. So string is really, really cool because you can now post a string value. So what I can do is this. So let's say, let's delete this field, let's delete this field, and let's get this field over here. And then what I'm going to do in this row here, we're going to merge cells, okay? And then make this field a bit wider. And then I'm going to call this one final outcome. Okay, so now what I can do is I can go over here, very, very simple example here. I can go into home, configure actions, and string, add a variable, call it outcome, and configure like this. I think I've deleted my numeric, so what we'll do is this. Um, add numeric, configure, and we'll say row A plus row 2, and then deliver that value into outcome 1, like this. And then in the string, we'll just say when you add row 1 with 2, Nope, that's not what I want. Then in here I could say then the final value is outcome. Okay, and then I can map all of this into final outcome. I click apply, apply save and let me show you let's click preview so you can see the strings there right so now i add 100 and add 200 and just like that the outcome value so it's gonna so this is your string when you add 100 with 100 then the final value value is 200 okay so basically what we're doing is we pass this one over here pass this one over here and then pass this one over here. And just like you that, you can build up a string value quite easily. So that's how the string works, and you can just about do anything really. It doesn't, uh, there is no single use case to demonstrate this. It's just an incredibly flexible way of doing it. Now, the final one I want to talk about is, um, uh, is the J JavaScript. So for that, I'll delete this, this, and we'll keep the final outcome there. Go back in here, we'll go into figure actions, and I'm just going to delete this, and I'm going to delete this, and we're going to custom JS. We'll call this outcome. And then I will just simply put a little value. I'll say return space, and we'll use row input one plus, we'll say. 50 or something like that and then like that and then we'll say map the value to final outcome something like that so click apply apply save preview so I'll do 100 and now you can see it's 150 do 300 you can now see it's 350 so that's how you use the JavaScript variable in the form so so far we've covered numeric, string, and custom JavaScript, and this is how you do it.